What's going on, everybody? Today's video, we're going to recap the monthly card show that was powered by TradeSafe. Yes, I did go into it for a while. Then I was out of it. Then I even brought Cora in a little bit later on to look at it. We were talking about it. This happened this past Wednesday from 6 p.m. Eastern till midnight. I'm going to go ahead and start some of the clips from it. So you'll probably hear me very disgruntled. I'm warning you now. You may hear me repeat things multiple times because I did about 45 minutes to an hour. And I don't want to play the whole thing because you guys will be bored out of your mind. So I'm going to cut some of the clips, come back. We're going to talk about the show, how they can improve, if they can improve, and a few other side notes as well. All right, guys, cutting to those clips, dabbing out. All right, we're in it, guys. I'm going to make the screen a little better as I talk here. So... One thing I will say, this is weird. So you have the website for the monthly card show. Then you have a website for trade safe. Now you have a website called Hopin. You got to get a card. There's just too much going on with all these websites popping up. I wish I could show it all to you because the one issue I had was it was like popping verification codes to my email. I'd go in and get it. So just trying to keep everything safe on a down low on to it. So that's it. I guess it says 20 people here loaded safely. Trade safe, Steve. Jeffrey Hart, Charlie Victor's on here. I don't recognize any of these names. Becca Davis, Jeremy Fullerton. I was trying to see if I actually... There's one guy that says he's an investor, Rich Rick Clark. But I, I don't recognize any of the names on here to where I can go in there and like say, Hey, I know this guy from so-and-so. Oh, wait, you can click to load more. Oh, there might be even more people. Wow. Oh, it looks like they got some people coming on talk. Behind the card, CSG grading, collectible, behind the card, part two. Oh, we actually have the sponsorships here. Okay, so there are CSG, collectible, card ladder, Shippo, Slab Strong, Leaker, Trading, and something graded. Oh, this must be where we get to search booths and stuff. Oh, look, here we go. We got booths. These everybody spent two hundred dollars to uh, get boosts. Okay, okay, we found it. See, see, we can find stuff. Don't look like a whole lot of people actually paid the two hundred dollars. All right, so we got sports card vault. Let me get that autograph. All right, Luke the Cardist, stack cards, Marinos. Try to see if I know any of these guys. You guys might know some of them. I, I have no idea. Cards and coffee, I heard. Or I might be thinking about uh, coffee breakers, too. Tampa Card Shop. Zion K. There's Santiago Sports. You guys know him from YouTube, probably. Card Hogs. Stand up displays. That's where the uh, old, wherever they went to on my thing over there, Extreme Stands. Show your slab. Maui Sports Cards. Sports cards nonsense. Doesn't this guy have a YouTube channel? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, the graded gamer, Bleaker Trading, Slab Strong, Shippo, Behind the Card. All right. Have a card shop. I don't know what what to do here. An hour before it started, but it makes sense because the amount of people in here hasn't gone above one thirty the whole time. Yeah, I can see you. I mean, you've logged in, so it kind of makes sense. So everybody's in the same room with all these different guys. Yeah, you go booth to booth. If you guys are looking for anything in particular, just let us know. Uh, there's a link to the eBay store in the chat that has majority of uh, the inventory on there, but if there's anything specific, just let us know. We'll find player, team, anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like guys. I could turn volume down well, and mute these guys, so I might Which be one? talking over them. And Jason, I have some. If you scroll down, you'll see some cards that I have listed for sale. Oh, oh, that helps. See, see, somebody's actually helping us out. We got stuff down here. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. I had no idea this was here. This is pretty cool. This guy's got a Steph Curry Soul of the Game, fifteen hundred dollars PSA seven for my Mac. Mike Clark. Trout, Tom Brady, Kobe Bryant, Sidney Crosby, all game used. There's a Michael Jordan Good star, player. guys. They're out there. Them stars are coming. Let's see who's hitting me up on the phone. Top one, 
PSA 10 Jordan. Who holds game used? Mikhail. Jordan sticker rookie. All them out of five. Well, that's the name you don't hear anymore. Cal Corver, guys. $20. Time piece of basketball. I'm just scrolling through in case you guys see something on here. I mean, right now I'm at the point where I think the top card, two, two we looked at, was it. Yeah, don't you hate when we're the only ones in there, guys? Someone, please fucking come talk to me. <laughs> Hello, somebody's there. I'm gonna figure this out. God damn it. What's your name? Guys, we'll be nice. We'll tell them we have sound. Nope, it's just me. Let's go check out Trading Card Empire. Oh, well, they're not on. Oh, he spent $200 and. All right, guys. So we was that like the third one now that nobody's on. Let's go to Reservoir, huh? Pop in them all, guys. Nobody on this one either. Alrighty then, let's go back. Man, if I came live, you guys would be tearing up the chat right now. I am not lying. I'd probably be more interested with what you guys are saying in the chat than I am with this. Holy cow. All right, let's go to a couple more. Coffee Breakers, they're on whatnot, but I knew about them before through Facebook. If these guys don't have a big crowd in here right now, then we got something crazy. Oh, well, they're having me go to YouTube. Well, all right. That's a little different. Um, guys, <laughs> guys, I'm telling you, <laughs> they should test ran this thing with actual people. Let's go into Santiago Sport. And he's not live. Holy cow, there's 129 people live, guys. And not have the guys aren't even on here to sell cards. Wow. Maui sports cards. We're just going to click on people. Hopefully. Hopefully they get that going. No slide deck. Zion case this guy. Maybe some people in there. Another one you just watch on YouTube. I mean, what's the point of watching you on YouTube when you're supposed to be on here on a site to do your stuff? So you guys got to see some of my frustration, I'm sure, because I at this point I don't even know what I posted before this because I still got to cut and splice. So let's hit some of the recap. I'd never heard of this card show going on until Saturday, last Saturday. And that was at the local card show at the Derby City uh, in Louisville. So with that being said, I went on, we did a video, nobody heard about it. Uh, I didn't see it promoted anywhere. When I first logged in, it said it had sponsors, and I had no idea who the sponsors were until... I did a three-step process, three freaking step process just to be able to do, go in there and view this show. Um, and then I got to see the sponsors, which was like CSG, Slab Stock, Stand Up Displays. There was a couple other ones I know I'm missing, but I, I may have showed that in the video clip. So the three things I had to do. One, first site. I had to register to come into it. Then I had to go to TradeSafe and build an account there. Thought that was it. I then want to go log in. It's like, oh, you got to go on to hop in to get in here. Three freaking sites to get in a card show? That's ridiculous. 
They need to band all this stuff together or find a way to where it's all sensory located within their site. If that means that they're not owners or part owners of TradeSafe, you need to find a way to do all that stuff on your own because that's just a pure headache. I mean, it was ridiculous just trying to get into it, the amount of stuff to do. I was not overly impressed by it. It was a good thought process of what they wanted to do. Don't get me wrong. Execution was poor. So when I first logged in, I was like, oh, heck, how do you do this? There was like 160 people in it. Uh, about halfway through when I brought Cora in back into it, because we were looking at it through, I believe it was, yeah, we did through Zoom, I was showing them. There was under 100 people in there. Now, you got to figure, probably about 20 of those are uh, dealers, which it cost the dealer $200 minimum to be on there. With that, they could upgrade it with all these other packages, I think up to like five or $600. Then they also had admin running. So as I was popping through, the very few people that were live, mind you, at the start of the show, up to about 30 to 45 minutes in, everybody's like, hey, can you go live with me real quick? And I'm like, well, I'm doing YouTube stuff. I can't. They had the frustration. They didn't have pictures of their cards that were supposed to be on some slideshow. The one guy told me that they did no, like, early test run of this except for an hour before the show with everybody. If this was my first time doing this, I would have said a week out, guys, I'm going to be live from Saturday, 6 p.m. to midnight. You guys float through, get your slideshows or something in there so you guys know how to do it. These texts will be going around. Come into this room here if you have issues and we will help you out. So this goes on without any kind of issues or very minimal issues. Did not happen. Some of these guys were just... The dealer's just frustrated. I'm telling you, frustration. After about an hour, hour and a half, guys were just all going in each other's room watching people open up product. You got to see stand-up displays, making displays. It, it was crazy. Um, there was like two people I see that actually had slideshows. You can go through their cards, which, you know, is good because I get to see what you have. I, I think there's a lot of work that needs to be done on it. I really feel bad for dealers that spent two hundred dollars plus on a ta on a virtual table for that because it, it did not draw hardly anything in. I don't even think I seen a sale on there. It probably could have been. I just wasn't on everybody's channel either. But from the sounds of it, it was just more of a good old boy hangout type deal. Hey, look at Johnny opening up uh Pimal, uh Crown Royal basketball and stuff like that. It it, it was kind of crazy. Some people showing off some cards and stuff like that there. But while I was in some rooms where you were on max of ten people, like on a Zoom where you see all the little pictures of everybody, uh, I didn't see anybody doing any deals. They were just in there talking away. So that was my first issue. Second issue, I should say, is that they. If I was a dealer, I'd be highly upset. That there was no, they had too many bugs. I would probably never come back. As a buyer, I'd be frustrated if I showed up at six or even seven and half the stuff wasn't there. The other issue was I went on there, I'm like, oh, cool, you know, um, the coffee breakers had a thing on there. Well, when you went on their channel, and I think I showed this in part of it, it was either them or Santiago Sports, they wanted you to go to the YouTube. And see what, what was going on. I don't know if they were streaming live on YouTube. I didn't click anything. But, you know, some people never even showed up from what I've seen. Uh, I know when Cora came on, we were flipping through a lot, and there were still a couple guys that were not even on. So that was a big, big issue with it. The next one that I have wrote down here i got to read. Uh, the dealers were confused on the process. Even though it says, you know, you could do all these different payment methods, off of the monthly card shows website, they said PayPal friends and family. Well, when you go over to TradeSafe, it says your payments have been made by Venmo, Cash App, or PayPal. I believe goods and services, right? So if you look at that, they were talking about cash and all this stuff. It made no sense on how this stuff all worked. There needed to be a better explanation onto it. Because the only thing everybody agreed upon was 
if you were buying cards that day, you had to buy a package thing of $25. You can get up to 10 cards to go to Trade Safe. Once they get in there, you pay the bill. Once all your cards come in from the dealers, they will then ship them to you. It, it just did not make a whole lot of sense. There was too many moving pieces into it to where I wouldn't even have bought off it. I would probably would have worked deals off the side with people, PayPal goods and service items or something. The other thing that uh, was kind of weird was Trade Safe wanted you to pay through Trade Safe. They were saying on the monthly card sites website, you just post a screenshot of your payment to the person and attach it somewhere. I have no idea where you do that attachment at unless I had to buy the package in order to figure all that out. It, it, it was, to me, a good idea, but it was poorly executed, poorly planned. It was not promoted heavily. If you were relying on the people buying tables to promote it, then you shouldn't be charging that kind of money because dealers are not going to promote their own stuff to bring an influx crowd in. Because when I saw 160 people, and I'm like, well, whose room are they in? And you had like CSG on there, and there was, like, I don't know, some kind of like weird seminar thing going on in somebody else's room. But I figured, oh, well, they must all be in the coffee breakers. Oh, they must all be Santiago sports guys. Well, they weren't on. So, no idea. And floating through, the most I'd see is like four or five dudes in a room. At one time, for I think we had like 15, 16 in a room. But, or on a ta virtual de dealer table, whatever you want to call it, on to it. But really, really was not impressed at all, on to it all. And guys, before I go any further, I forgot to say, we have a sponsor for this video. No joke, we have a sponsor for this video. Let me pull that up real quick. Told you, you thought I got paid sponsorship. I didn't. It's actually StreamCardBreaks.com is sponsoring my own video. So guys, the shop's back open. I had some work done on to it. I just want to show you guys real quick. Main page you go to it, the link is always in the description of stream, streamcardbreaks.com. You don't even need to click on any of this. Just scroll down. These are my five deals right here. Uh, guy I uh, did some updates on to it. It came through last night. It's supposed to be end of the year, but I wanted to share it with you. These are actually now live. Um, somebody goes in there and purchases. I, I really want to see if the how the transactions go through because we did a lot of background work on it. Should be, you should either be able to pay by PayPal or buy a credit card, which will process through Stripe. It just as it used to. Should still work. So again, DreamCardBreaks.com back up. I'm going to put cards on there at various times. I'll just throw them in videos for you guys that want to go on and look at, or I might just do a community post on YouTube as well, too. All right, back to the video. Oop, that ain't it. Boom, back to the video. <laughs> I thought I figured it'd be something different to say. Sponsored video. YouTube, if you saw that, that's my own website. I didn't pay myself now. <laughs> I want them getting all crazy on me. So, again, with the monthly card show, it was different. It was an idea. It probably would have been a lot better during COVID. But with having it going through so many sites, so many technical hiccups across the board, dealers confused, buyers confused onto it, it needs some work done onto it. I mean, I don't know what you do for dealers that you spend all that money. Do you say, hey, guys, either have a refund or I'll credit you for the next one. Get it for free. I, I have no idea what they'll do. I mean, everything costs money when you run shows and stuff like that virtually. Processors, websites, all that other fun stuff. But it, it was it was very confusing. And I'm an older guy. I do know some tech stuff. So I brought Cora in, and he was even confused, and he's a big tech guy, like background work and all that stuff. And we had a long conversation. None of that was recorded because it was just stuff that we were, uh, you know, hitting off of each other on the different things. But if it pops up again for a second run, I'll register again. Hopefully, it's a, I at least know what to do onto it, and it makes it easier to see how it goes. Maybe we'll go live with it. But it was definitely something different. Um, hopefully it improves in the future on to it all. I mean, if you were out there, please feel free to leave comments below. If you were a dealer, leave feedback below because I tried to bounce through so many rooms uh, during the whole time frame. And I didn't really didn't see anybody that didn't look like they were frustrated or just, it was just like one big Zoom where guys were all just chit-chatting with each other. 
I, I don't even know if I if there were any deals that went down because I was hoping to see deals and how it worked because the idea was the dealer uh, sets something up through Trade Safe, you get a uh, some kind of email bill, and then you go through and do it all. But like I said, dealers were talking all different too. The couple that were talking about the process. So if there's confusion there, it's definitely confusion everywhere else. All right, guys. Catch y'all next video. I am out.